Hello, I am going to show you how you can combine more than one table that has the same header row and type of content into it into one table. Why would you want to do this? Well, for instance, in Excel, you can use a built-in uh, table wizard to do to basically um, make a pivot table out of multiple tables or multiple pivot tables. Unfortunately, if you're a Mac user, that particular little table wizard doesn't work. So you have to take the extra step of saying, gosh, I want to take information from two different sheets of information, two different tables, or in this case, data ranges, since this is not officially a table, it's a data range that has not been turned into table format. But I want to take this information and I have to basically append the second half of the year to the bottom of the first year so that I have one table that I can then make a summary pivot table from. So the easiest way to do this, there's multiple ways to do it, but we're going to just do this super easy, even though it's a little bit of a manual way. We have two sheets and I want to keep them, but I also want to create a third sheet that will be combined tables. Combined 2022 sales. There we go. I'm going to go to the biannual one and I'm just going to select everything that is part of the data range. You see I'm selecting all of the rows and contents, including where it reads January to June and then the header row. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come over to cell A1 and I'm going to paste. Now, as you can tell, it pastes um, a little bit off. So we have to go ahead and kind of manually, you know, stretch things out a little bit so that it's oops, <laughs> so that it's easier to read one row at a time like this. category and so on and you can you know make these adjustments um, to your to your eye so now what we have is a data range that's for January through June just like in the biannual one worksheet just scroll down it goes all the way down to the 28th of June now the first thing I'm going to do is come up here since this is combined I'm going to change this so it just reads all 22, 2022 sales, all. Now, another thing that you can choose to do to make this easier, especially if you have to keep scrolling down the page, notice when you do this, you lose that header row. So here you can go to view, you can come over to, uh, well, that's not what I want to do, I want to, yeah, I want to get this little split option right here. I'm going to bring it up to just below the header row. Then I'm going to come over um, also in the view tab to freeze panes and just click freeze panes. And what that means is it will freeze this worksheet so that we can continue to see the header row while we scroll up and down the content. And this should not affect making a pivot table later on. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the um, A column cell below the last row here because this is where I want to add the biannual two content. Click over to biannual two, and I am not going to copy these first two rows because we already have the representative two rows in the combined 2022 sales that I just amended. And then um, I went and put the um, split screen on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of row three. I could technically select this, but it's just as easy to select the whole row like this. And I'm going to scroll down till I get to the very last row. That reads a date of 12 30 2022. Copy this, come back over to this. And then right here, I'm going to select um, row 106 and press Control V to paste. And now you can see that we're jumping from 6 28 2022 to 7 3, etc. So now we have a sheet for the combined sales. I'm going to save this. Now, what do we want to do? We want to make a pivot table from this. So what I'm going to do before I make a pivot table, I'm just going to come up and I'm going to select the header row and the content below, but not this top row that reads all 2022 sales, just all of this. Then I'm going to come over to my home tab. 
I'm going to click Format as a Table. And since I'm using kind of tan up there, I will go ahead and use a nice red here. Where's the data for my table? That's the data. My table has headers. And there we go. Now we have a table. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to come over to Insert. And then I want to insert a pivot table. Or I could do recommended pivot tables. So depending on what it is you want to accomplish, say that I wanted to do it by category, I could choose it based on this whole table of the whole year. I'm going to click OK. And it's created a new sheet that's actually placed itself before the combined 2022 sales. And now it has a pivot table from this whole, um, whole combined table sheet. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say combined table pivot table. And I'm going to drag this so it falls after this. And then that way we have the combined table here. We still have the biannual half tables if we want um, to look at them for any reason. And then we have our pivot table. And when you click on the pivot table, you'll get the pivot table fields. And from here, you could go in and you could change this to read like cookery by region. Or you could take and turn off category and turn on region first and then category like this and, and so on. You can make a, a choice of what else you would like to go into the columns. So maybe we have product name. Let's see what happens if we drag this over here to column. Oh my goodness, it looks really strange. So, you know, you want to be careful about not doing this. We'll take and get rid of that and um, make sure the column name is off. But you can play with your pivot tables from here. But this is based on a combined table, a combined contents of two separate tables. So I hope this will be helpful for you. Thanks very much.